I'm Kylie from Freedom Vans, and I'm here today to show you our latest project. This is a 2016 Ford Transit Dually, and this van's pretty cool because it has already served its life as a work van and has now been converted to a camper van for its next job in life. Um, this one is actually going to be rented out. So if you're interested in trying out one of our vans, this is a great opportunity. Um, you can rent this van from this client. We'll have that all linked in our description um, and we'll be posting it on our Instagram as well. I also wanted to say just some housekeeping stuff before we get started. So we have this tour for you and then we have one more tour for you, which is for a family of four. And then we're gonna be taking a little break from YouTube. Hannah is moving to New Zealand. I'm five months pregnant. We are still working on some really cool vans in the shop right now that I would love to show you um, in the coming months. But our last YouTube video for a little while will be out sometime in October probably. And then the best place to catch our vans would be to either join our newsletter, which we'll also link in the description, or um, follow us on Instagram because we're always posting over there. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this tour. So as I mentioned, this van is going to be used as a rental. It's really cool because it can sleep up to five technically. There's two beds in here and um, hammock mounts for a hammock in the ceiling. There are six seat belts total, although only four of them are DOT approved. So it's got lots of sleeping and seating options. Uh, let's get started with the exterior mods on this van today. I think that the thing Tom's most excited about about this project is this is our first custom transit roof rack. He's so stoked on the way that it turned out. He says that this is the best Ford Transit roof rack on the market. We haven't actually done the market research to know that, but um, let us know what you think. It's really cool. It's really wide. So there's this big perforated deck up top. Um, and then we did it a little bit flipped upside down from our regular um, roof rack. So the, there's a bar that goes around the bottom and that just helps with the curve of the van. Um, and overall it houses tons of accessories. So we've got crossbars up there for mounting kayaks and paddle boards. We have all of the exterior lights. So we have a high beam, side lights, reverse lights, um, an awning, lots of amazing things built into this roof rack. On the front of the van, we did add a California tuned off-road bumper. And then we upgraded the suspension with a two inch lift from Van Compass. And then we went with our favorite tires, the Falcon Wild Peaks, which are really great driving performance, but also give you some grip when you're doing um, multi-season or off-roading. And then lastly, we do have a tire ladder combo on the back of the van from Owl Vans. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside. Ta-da! <laughs> um, so on the outside, I kind of like when they're, I mean, the kitchen on the side of the van makes a lot of sense because you get a lot of venting for the cooktop, but I do love that when the dinette's here, it is pretty open to the outside and there's room for this little outdoor table still. We do have storage for one of the dining tables on the outside here. Um, there are two dining tables, which we'll show you when we go over the dinette. The layout of this van is similar to our Apollo van would be another example of a layout like this. I feel like the owner of Apollo is gonna be a little bit jealous about this second dinette because he wanted to do something like this, but it didn't work out with the kitchen configuration that we were doing for his van. So we have a really large kitchen galley on the driver's side of the van, and then we have this L-shaped dining area for lots of dining and seating options. The two front seats, we did add Alpine mechanism swivel seats. So those are just really low clearing. So they do a great job with the transit swivels. And then in the back, we have the bed, which is over the garage space, which we'll get into. Okay, this giant kitchen, I think is gonna be so awesome for people renting a van who want to cook all of their meals in the van. 
or love to cook um, their own meals. We have a double burner induction cooktop. So this runs off of the inverter. There is a sound bar so you can play nice music while you're cooking or hanging out inside of the van. He does have a pretty big refrigerator in here. This is a drawer style refrigerator so you can fit some nice tall things. And there is a freezer as well. We have lots of cabinet space so I'm sure they'll have this um, decked out with everything that you need for your trip. And then we have this stainless steel backsplash, which is great because these are just honestly great utility, pretty easy to clean. And then you can store these baskets, magnetic baskets there for all of your extra kitchen stuff. There is this large stainless steel sink in here um, with a built-in cutting board, which is great. For those of you interested in renting this van who aren't used to traveling in a van, just a reminder, this is a great spot for anything left out on the countertop to go inside because that is really important when you're driving to not have things on the countertop. And you probably will still learn that the hard way. There is a water filter and a soap dispenser and then this nice beautiful faucet. And then in the kitchen we have a composting toilet. So this is the nature's head composting toilet and that just slides out and is really easy to use. Over on this side of the van, we have the dining area, which you could fit four to five people here pretty comfortably. This is one of two tables. There is a second table here. And this table is just really great for extra countertop space if you need that in the kitchen. It does swivel in and out of the way, so it's pretty easy to move this out of the way and get into the dining area um, or move it out of your way to get up to the bed area. This dining area also turns into a big bed, um, which will be really comfortable with having extra people sleep in here. And then with it in bed mode, you won't be able to access the toilet, which I know isn't for everybody, but you will still be able to access the refrigerator if you need to. If you're not traveling with multiple people, it's just one or two of you, this is still a really nice spot to just hang out and have everything you need. Be able to sit down and have a meal or just hang out after doing all of your fun stuff. So I really feel like this van serves a lot of different needs. Underneath the dining area, we do have some lighting, which will light up the floor area that's accessible from the bed or the switch is accessible from the bed. So you can turn that on when you're coming down to use the bathroom or grab something from the sink or the refrigerator in the middle of the night and see where you're going without lighting everything up or bothering the other person in here. Behind these cushions, there are doors to access the garage area and we did do a split door in this. So all of our vans are four season vans. Um, they're very well insulated. This one in particular has a privacy curtain and full window covers, <laughs> insulated window covers that are really awesome. This little door allows you to store skis in here. Um, so this will be awesome for people who want to use it in the winter time. If you're interested in making a trip up to like BC, Bellingham's a great airport to fly into. You can drive this up to BC or you can drive it up to Mount Baker. And then the bed area. So this is a queen size bed. It is designed to sleep side to side. So we do have the body flares on the outside of the van to give you more space. And then there's these little shelves here. So these are great for like your phone or <laughs> what what else do you need at night? <laughs> um, it's just great for like little things you need to set down, little decorations if you want to make it feel homey. Uh, but these are not just plant shelves, I promise. Sometimes we have uh, clients in our meetings who say like, oh, we don't need plant shelves. Um, these end shelves are really great for storing like lights or vitamins or um, any other little things that you access pretty often. I personally have books on one side in my van and then the other side is where we store our vitamins which is why I use that example. Lots of overhead storage in this van. There is a microwave and under light strip lighting which is really great. It also comes with an LTE booster so this is really good would be a really good van 
to work from. Um, you can hotspot your phone to your laptop and um, this will boost your cell phone service. In this overhead cabinet, we do have, um, this is kind of like the control center. So we have fuse block, which is overcurrent protection for all of the DC componentry in here. And then we have this AC distribution panel, which offers protection for all of your AC appliances. Super important when you're installing big things like an induction cooktop or a microwave. So this fan, as far as the HVAC system, so we don't have an air conditioner in this van, but it is very well insulated. There are insulated window covers, and then we have full circulation. So these windows vent, the fan in the back can be intake or exhaust. We usually use this as an exhaust fan. And then we have an underbody fan up front. So that really gives this full circle of air circulation in the van that really helps keep the temps down in here. And then for our winter campers, there is a gas heater built in. So those are very efficient. They only use one gallon of fuel every 24 hours that they run. So this is definitely a great option for our winter campers. And then if you have someone that really loves sleeping in a hammock and doesn't want to set up this bed or you have someone in this bed and want to have bunk bed style situation, we do have these hammock attachment points in here. Um, so a hammock totally fits and um, is a great sleeping solution. And then in the front with the swivel seats, we do have this reverse camera that we installed. This does technically have a reverse camera, but um, it's like this little box on the rear view mirror. But what's nice about this is that it will stay on while you're driving and it's a much bigger screen. So it's very easy to see things. Um, if you have like a bike rack on the back or something, it's really nice to be able to see that your bikes are nice and safe back there. Okay, let's go check out the garage now. So you guys, I'm such a sucker for the clear coat wood. I think that the garage turned out so beautiful. Um, the finishes in this van are great, but I really love how the garage turned out. So this is a platform so that you don't get your feet dirty when you're showering. So this goes is a teak mat that goes down on the ground. Um, we have an exterior shower and then there is a shower curtain that goes across here. On the passenger side of the van, we have the water system. So this is a 30 gallon fresh water tank. This feeds water to the outdoor shower here in the back and the sink up front. So the gray water is really simple. It's a five gallon jug underneath the sink. Super easy to remove and just dump out when it's full. And then the fill for the fresh water systems right here. So this will be really easy and user friendly for anybody renting this van. Um, it does have, like if it gets overfilled, then there are drains. So you don't have to worry about um, water coming into the van or damaging anything. There is a four gallon hot water heater. So there is access to hot water um, in this van as well. And then it has a nice big power system to run any of your needs. So this does have a 400 amp hour lithium battery bank and the big draws on this power system are going to be the induction cooktop and the water heater. But other than that, it's a lot of power for anything that you need to do in here. This van does charge in three different ways. So when you drive is the fastest way to charge. Um, there's just an automatic separator so you don't have to worry about doing anything. It basically connects the house battery to your auxiliary battery system after 30 seconds when you start driving and then it'll disconnect the two systems when the car is parked so you never have to worry about draining your car battery. So that's one way to charge it. That's the fastest way to charge. There is also shore power, um, which is located underneath the bumper. It just uses a regular 15 amp extension cord. You can plug into any regular outlet. I know RV parks are typically 30 amp. There are converters you can get, but I've always seen um, 15 amp available there too. So it shouldn't be any, you should have no issue with that. That's the second fastest way to charge the battery system. So that's a really good option if it's overcast because this does have solar, which is your third option. This does have three, a 370 watt solar panel um, so that 
is the slowest way to charge, but also it's always charging. So that's probably what charges your batteries the most um, because that's just a nice trickle charge that goes on throughout the day. And then lastly, there is this nice large gear tray um, with bike mounts so you can definitely store your bikes inside. These have multiple adapters for different size forks. Um, there is this tray where you can store whatever you're bringing um, and then it does have that door if you have longer skis in here. And this is the storage for the um, pole to open the awning right here. And then there's these hooks so you can put all of your backpacks, helmets, anything that you can hang. Um, this is great storage for that. Not only do we have our own van, but we have gone places and rented vans also. And having a nice big storage area like this is really nice when you're traveling somewhere to rent a van because um, it's a great place to put your luggage. Just have it out of your way. You know, you can unpack it inside and then just have the luggage out of the way. So that's pretty much a wrap on this tour. As I mentioned, we have one more tour coming out in October. That is gonna be for a family of four. Um, and then we will still be doing reels and like shorter videos. So keep an eye out on our other social media if you'd like to join our newsletter. I do put out a quarterly newsletter where I list all of our projects from that quarter. This fan is very different from the spec layouts that we have on our website. We do have um, a custom van conversion inquiry form as well. So we are doing our spec layouts. We still do custom. So all of those forms are on our website. If you are interested in van conversion, we're booking for 2024 right now. Otherwise, don't be a stranger. Thanks for following along. Take care, bye-bye.